On June 15, 1990, Autumn Wallace aged nine, was home by herself in Anaheim, California, she was waiting for her older sister and mother to return home from work. Autumn was home alone cutting out paper dolls when she heard a knock on the door and saw Rosie Alfaro. Rosie knew the Wallace family very well and was friendly with one of the older daughters. Rosie Alfaro was high on cocaine and heroin. She thought that they were out, and that she would be able to steal items from the home to sell in order to purchase drugs. Autumn opened the door for Rosie, her sister's friend, who asked to use the restroom. Autumn Wallace, allowed Rosie inside the home as she recognized Rosie as a past guest on numerous occasions, and an acquaintance of her older sister. Rosie took a knife from the kitchen before proceeding to the restroom, located at the back of the house. She then coaxed Autumn into the restroom on a ruse, and stabbed her 57 times. Rosie then ransacked the house for anything she could steal, ultimately to acquire drug money. The stolen property was later sold for less than $300. Autumn's mother Linda Wallace, found her daughter's body hours later in a pool of blood in the bathroom. Rosie, who was 18 years old, pregnant and high on cocaine and heroin, needed another fix, burgled the Wallace home, ultimately to garner cash to enable her to purchase drugs. When she originally planned to approach the Wallace home, she did not expect to find anyone home, when she found Autumn at home, she then realized she would have to kill her because she would know who committed the burglary. Rosie stabbed Autumn 57 times, and then proceeded to take anything and everything of apparent value. Rosie confessed to the crime during a police-taped interview, stating she was high on heroin and cocaine when she stabbed Autumn. That was never proven since she was not arrested and drug-tested within the 36 to 48 hours of the murder. Later she changed her story and alleged an unidentified man forced her to stab the little girl. Still later, Rosie told police that two men drove her to the Wallace home, and one of the men entered the house and forced her to kill Autumn. She refused to identify the man. The evidence from the crime scene only indicated that members of the Wallace family and Rosie were present in the home that day. Police found her fingerprints and a matched blood-stained shoe print. Years later Rosie said she had to kill Autumn because the girl knew who she was. Maria del Rocio Alfaro known as Rosie, was raised in the barrio in Anaheim, California, near Disneyland. She became a drug addict at 13, a prostitute at 14 and a single mom at 15, and mother to four children at 18. Eventually, she became a murderer at 18 while pregnant with twins, and the first woman in Orange County, California to get the death penalty at 20. She was tried and convicted of first-degree murder with special circumstances. At the end of the penalty phase of the trial, the jury deadlocked 10-2 on the sentence of death. The penalty phase of the trial was then declared a mistrial. A second jury unanimously voted to recommend the death penalty. The trial judge upheld the jury's recommendation and sentenced her to death. In August 2007, the California Supreme Court voted unanimously to uphold her death sentence. Rosie was the first woman sentenced to death in the gas chamber and at the time of sentencing was the third woman on death row in California.